Howdy, howdy everyone. I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. So have you ever check out your ribbon when you create a new email? I just click on the new email and you will see an option on the ribbon which is insert. Technically, this ribbon insert means you are about to insert something in the message body. And if you, you will see there are few options or few sections include table, illustrations, links, text and symbols. In this video, we will discuss about this text section. This text section consists of few options and every option help you to create or design your specific email in a professional manner. So let's begin with the first one, which is text box. So if you click on this drop down, you will see an option which is draw text box. So when you click on it and you will move your cursor on the message body, your cursor will change its identity from the arrow to the plus sign. That means you are allowed to draw a box in the message body. But if you move your cursor on the email address to CC or subject, it won't work. So simply draw a, a box here. You will see all I have to do is to just use my mouse left button and it will allow me to draw a box. Now you will see my box is inserted here, which is transparent and you can very easily create a text here. Now when this box is inserted in the message body, another tab with the name of shape format appears, which consists of multiple options that allow you to design, to format your box, not even box. If you type something in the box, say I type welcome to my channel mail smartly. This shape format also allow you to design or modify your text also inside the box. So we will start from the shape styles. The only rule is you have to first select the box. Then you can change the color of the borders, say black, blue, orange, and you can also change some multiple options also given here. You can change the color inside the box and you can also click on this expander, which allow you to change the color, change the style. And you can also select here other theme files, which will again allow you to select some additional options here. Now the second option is shape file that will allow you to change the color here very easily. That's a very common feature which every Microsoft user know. Even if you are using Microsoft Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, this is the very common option here. You can also change the color of the border of the box. If you have already selected the color with the blue and you I want the border with the red color, I simply use this option. I can select the shape effects, shadow, reflection, glow, edges, 3D rotations. These are all additional options you can use to design your box. Now here, what I am talking about is word art style. So when I select my text which I have already entered in, into the box. I can choose the style. I can change the color. I can change the theme. I can change the shadow of the text also. Like I we have learned in this section shape effects. This is also available for the text. You can then select the alignment of your text top, middle, bottom, which is as normal as we have already know. Now the next option is arrange. This is very important feature. So first of all, the first option is wrap text. If you click on it, there are few options in line with text, square, top and bottom, behind, in front of text and more layout options. You can select from here also. This feature help you if you are already having a lot of content in on your email body and you want to insert the box in the middle of the content and you want to adjust the box 
or align the box according to the paragraph. You can use this wrap text and you can also use this bring forward, send backward, select pane. This is used when you are already using couple of boxes and you want this specific box to be come forward or backward. You can use this options here. Again, you have alignment options here. You can align the box into the sheet according to this options here. There are multiple options available. And you can also use this rotate function here. You can very easily use the rotate right 90 degree, rotate left 90 degree, flip vertical and flip horizontal. And more rotation options are also available here. You can use it. And after that, the final is the size. You can change the size using this options here. Now this is the first option which is text box. Now the second option is, now the second option is quick parts. When I click on this, quick parts is a very interesting and very smart feature available in Microsoft Outlook. Although I have already covered the detailed video on quick parts, you can check out on the description section. Now, what is quick parts? Quick parts is designed if you have a specific text which you regularly use and send to your recipient. You can very easily create that specific text. Say, again, I want to type something. I will show you step by step. See, if I want to set this message as a quick part, all I have to do is to select this message, click on quick parts. I have to simply save selection to quick parts gallery. When I click on it, a create new building block dialog box appears. I have to name it. Gallery is quick parts. I don't want to change it. Category, general, keep it as it is. You can add some description here, save in, no problem, no changes, options, insert content only, insert content in its own paragraph and insert content in its own page. So by default, insert content only is selected. I recommend not to change it and simply hit OK. Now you will see this quick parts consist of this message added in the list. In future, when you type or create your email, and if you want to insert the, this message with a single click, you can use this quick parts very easily. You can also use this quick parts and add as a quick access toolbar. If you select this quick parts with the mouse right button, that will allow you to add to quick access toolbar. When you click on it, this quick parts is added here and in future when you create an email you simply jump to the quick access toolbar select this and simply click on your saved quick parts you will see your quick parts is working excellent now the third option is word art that means we have learned something in this text box also Word art allow you to select your text and that will allow me to design or format my specific. Now when I select that, that will also that will automatically take me to again to the shape format. Now I can change or format or color, design, add additional information or do anything from this shape format. Now the next option is date and time in most of the time when you create an email and you want to insert date and current time all together so entering a, a date is quite easy but if you want to enter the time it will take few seconds additional to look at the right bottom of your screen and type the date and time together so this option allow you to simply click on it and you will see available formats here. There are different different formats available here. You can select the format according to your requirement and simply hit OK. 
that will automatically enter the day date in this on the message body i have only selected the day and date but in case you want to enter the day date as well as time you can select this option and simply hit okay that will allow me to enter the date as well as your time now this option is add a drop cop that will allow me to add drop cop very easily there are three options none is by default selected you can change it as this this format and you can also change it in this format now the next option is first i remove everything from here now the next option is object when i click on this object that will open the new dialog box with the name of object normally it will allow me to insert a new object into the message body first option is adopt document and there are a few other options adopt adopt image you can also import or directly insert a, a excel file also into this message body i will show you with the how i can insert as a acrobat document first select on it click okay that will allow me to select the document pdf document i am redirected to my computer i will select this document and hit open now you will see your pdf document is very easily inserted as a object in your message body that way you can use this insert option and the section which is text section there are multiple options here which help you to design your email to insert different different objects to use quick parts which is great option in microsoft outlook and that will help you to work in microsoft outlook in a professional way if you have learned something new from this video please like and subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any updates and coming for the video i come thank you and have a good